Welcome back. This is Linda from Remade with Love, and this video is a short video documenting the second challenge met out of three, using one stencil for three different projects. This project is using that cute little tri-mesh stencil from a maker studio to put some color and interest in my grandnephew's room using this picture frame, glass picture frame using three different ceramic paints from a maker studio and putting them on using spreaders. I have this cute little frame, actually was going to let it go in a garage sale and I decided I could use it. I could use it as a gift for my grandnephew. Uh, I took the picture out um, and I cut out a piece of black insert just to put in there because I thought my colors will pop on the glass with black behind it. So I took it all apart, painted it, and I'll show you the steps that I'll be taking using this piece of glass. I'm going to be putting the mesh stencil on, I decided on the side, I think, on the lower bottom area. It doesn't have to be perfect but I do want to press it on and make sure that the mesh, the reusable mesh, is very snug against the glass so that as I push the ceramic ink through, none of it will come out on the glass underneath the stencil. You'll remember we used this to put it on an apron not too long ago. Okay, I will be using three different colors. So the first thing that I want to do is go ahead and put the green on. The color is green with envy in the ceramic paint. And I'm going to use it for the little leaves down at the bottom here on both sides of the fox. So I put a little on the end. I'm going to tilt it at a 45 degree angle and Press that into the mesh. If I mess up and get a little bit of a on the glass, I can just wipe that off before I bake it. This formula, you do need to bake the new formula if you go on from now on. The ceramic paint formula that you buy will have instructions that you just need to dry it over a certain amount of time, but there is no baking anymore. I'll show you what I have in case any of you have the old ceramic paint. And I'll show you what I do, but if you buy new, you don't need to do that. Perfect. Okay. So there is one. The next thing I want to do is I wanted to make the little fox's closed eyes just a nice gentle brown. So I'm going to take a tiny little bit onto the spreader. and put that on his eyes. There we go. And that goes into water. And then for the rest of his body, I decided to go with the hot and spicy. Um, some of the foxes that my grandnephew has in his room are orange. And so I thought the hot and spicy fur might work with what he already has. Okay, so we'll just press this on. Now you might recall that tri-mesh is great for anything that you want to use that has detail. So what I'm doing when I'm spreading the ink is 
pressing it through the mesh, which you won't even see. It's so fine and so thin that it is what they use in silk screening. It's an organza type, a very, very fine mesh, which allows the details, it allows the, the printing of the stencil to be so detailed because you pull away, or they pull away at Amy Howard when they make the stencils, all of the outside area um, that you want to have the ink cover. But they've got, in this case on the fox, these, this beautiful little folk art pattern which will is embedded in the mesh and it will remain there and block the ink from being in that area. So when we pull it away, he'll have this lovely pattern in his fur. I might need to get a little more ink on here for the orange, but we'll see how far I can get. Pressing at a 45 angle, 45 degree angle, really helps work it in and make the most of the ink that you have. Glad this is a small piece of glass. Okay, I got a little bit of the brown on there, but it's already laid down before this ink, so I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna get a little bit more on my spreader, and then it should go on quite easily. Yes, it does, for the rest of my fox. Perfect. Very excited about that. Okay. Now, I want you to take a look at this before I pull the stencil off. Because like a lot of other things, it looks a little messy. But once I pull the stencil off, I believe it will look beautiful. Now, I did notice as I held it up, that although it looked like I had pushed all the way through the mesh, there's a little bit on the edges that didn't quite make it. So I am going to dry off my spreader and get a little dab more of the orange on it. And make sure it is totally covered. Okay, tiny, tiny bit. Perfect. All right, actually that gives me a chance to hold it up and go for it. There we go. All right, I'm happy now. All right, so that's what it looks like before. And I'll pull this off, and immediately when I pull it off, this will go into a water bath. Now if I do mess up, what's really cool is, I can just wash it off with water. This is water-based. And wash it off and no one will know that I've messed up and I can redo it. So there we have our cute little fox with the leaves. And when I put it with the backing behind it in the frame, it'll really pop out. I think my next step will be to add his name and then put it in the frame. Be sure to follow me on Facebook. Check out the final product there. You'll see a photo of it and follow me on YouTube.